today's presentation. This is my back channel, and to get there, you have to go to todaysme.com slash gracieb. And when it says, what's your name, you just click your, you just type in your name and click join. And then here, I'll use your feedback on the left, and I will be able to use your feedback to get better. You could write feedback or comments on this presentation on my back channel. Once upon a time, there was a baby that was born, and she has on a little iPod down. And in her little hand, she has an iPod, and in her little ear, she has eye, ear, earplugs. And that man is Steve Jobs. He created the iPhone the same year that baby was born. And that baby's Graham bought her an iPhone stroller. So the Graham could put her iPhone in, and while you're on the sidewalk, going through town, the baby can listen to music. She's surrounded by all these things growing up, and here she is, three years old, holding a little iPhone in her hand. Twitter, um, Facebook, Google, YouTube, Wi-Fi symbols, even QR codes. Those were all a part of that baby's life. Here's a, here's a video of that little baby. plan for today. On my summer's reading list, I had a book called How Full Is Your Bucket? How many of you have read this book? Not very many of you. <laughs> well, those of you that have it, I'm going to give you a little information about this book. So, basically, everybody has this imaginary bucket over their head. And so, it's called How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? And so let's say somebody got bullied. So the person that bullied you, their bucket goes down, and your bucket goes down. But let's say I came along and said something nice to you. So your bucket would go up, and my bucket would go up. I've come to fill your bucket today by showing you some of my favorite learning tools. I've always had this fascination for Apple. Here I am, three years old, and getting my very first iPad. And here I am, dressed up in this outfit, and I have my iPhone up to my ear and my iPad in my bag. Like everybody else in this generation, I love to take selfies. <laughs> Mini iPad, iPhone, even MacBook Air. I've always had a fascination for those things. We live in there's an app for that world. And I was just 
browsing the app store the other day and I saw an app for Kroger and it helps you simplify your shopping. Good Sam, it helps with car trouble, it helps with flat tire, battery, even gas. There's an app for that. Health tap, a doctor's advice just is half away. It goes over to 62,000 doctors' information. And there's an app for even taking care of your money. It even comes with this cool graph. And I spent this entire blue space here. Say, I've been spending my money on school stuff. And this yellow space I spent on saving up for my car. I'm almost eight, and I'll be one in eight more years. <laughs> this, this orange slot I saved up for my iTunes bill. <laughs> Yet, I'm an app addict. This is my top three favorite apps, at least for this week. This is my... This is my third favorite app, iMovie. How many of you have used iMovie? Some of you. And kids can create movies they seen in the movie theater or on TV. Here's a little project I have created with iMovie. project I created with iMovie. This is my second favorite app, at least for this week. Soft puppets. How many of you have used soft puppets? Just a few of you. So soft puppets, kids can create conversations between characters. Here's a little project I have created with soft puppets. How many of you have heard the song? A lot of you. project I created with song puppets. This is my top favorite video pick, Chatter Picks. How many of you have used Chatter Picks? Not very many of you. I see one hand from the kid. <laughs> perspective. Here's a project I created with 
Chatterpicks. That'd be like first grade to third grade. That 
that would pre be probably good for me because I'm only in second grade. And 23% is intermediate. And it would probably be too hard for me because it's fourth grade to like sixth grade. And then there's advanced. That'd be like seventh grade or higher. And that'd be probably too hard for me. Intermediate, that'd be probably too challenging for me. But basic would probably be good for me. I'd like to leave you with this video I put together, and maybe you'll recognize some of these kids. Because I hope you enjoyed our time th together this morning as much as I have. Something that says I was here